All right, everyone, here we are with AAPL Apple Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back and let's jump into this chart. So, Apple Inc. broke through resistance levels, it had a bullish run today, and it literally left behind the support level, broke through resistance, turned it into a support, broke through the 50 day moving average, and continued its run to newer highs and newer levels of resistance up in bullish territory. Now, I wanna look at this a little bit more on a wider and open spectrum because 138 is the most important number up here for the bulls because that's the highest value that Apple reached. And from that point forward, it became very bearish to the point that it hit 103. So from 103, there was a slight recovery. It dipped again close to 104. And from that point forward, this has been rising and it reached highs of 118. And since that point forward, it's been slightly bearish and now there's a recovery. So there's been some volatility. 138 is still an important number for the bulls to reach newer highs. And 103 is an important number to keep in mind for the next coming weeks. And if this was to get very volatile and start to hit newer lows, that if it crosses 103, this could be in a bearish run to hit new lows and newer support levels. But let's look at what's important for tomorrow after this bullish run and this is literally our support level is literally the only drop of bear that this literally had i mean the first bear was a sideways leveling off and the slight dip was here so our support level is important and it continued to run so the bears were not able to do much and the bulls definitely dominating this one all day so the 50-day moving average is so important at 114.41, it lets us know on what side of the chart we're in. As long as the bulls stay above it, we're in bullish territory. And if the bears are able to tear through it and bring it down to newer lows, we've ended up in bearish territory. So we're going to start off with what the bulls want to break through. And that's our resistance level, 116.65. Super important point for the bulls to break through and turn into a support. After closing at 116.51, the bulls are going to want to break through 116.65 to continue the momentum and reach newer highs and pull further away from the 50 day moving average in an upward direction super important like i said for the bulls to continue their run they need to break through 116.65 turn it into a support to reach newer highs and newer levels of resistance now on the other spectrum we have what the bears want and the bears want to get as close as possible to the 50 day moving average and possibly even cross it and the first step is breaking through support. And the support level here is 115.20. So if 115.20 does get broken through, I just would say pay very close attention to how this stock be acts because of the fact of from 114.41 to 115.20, you can see how the stock is reacting in that point. You have a window. So from 115.20 to 114.41, you have a window to see how the stock is reacting and how quickly is it moving down or are the bulls trying to reappear and bring this one back up obviously 115.20 gets broken through you'll want to see how quickly are the bears tearing this one down or are the bulls trying to reappear now if the bulls do try to reappear they still have a goal here and that's breaking through 116.65 because the bulls just reappearing and leveling it off doesn't get them to continue the momentum and reach newer highs because the 50 day moving average doesn't stop for anybody it'll continue to move its way up and catch up to the stock price so very important for the bulls that if they do reappear they got to come in strong and hefty and break through the resistance level and turn it into a support to continue their run now that's one important thing now on the other spectrum of things we have also what the other possibility could be the bears break through 115.20 and start to bring this one quickly down to newer lows. And their goal is going to be to break through 114.41. And if they accomplish that, they've gotten back into bearish territory and their goal is to hit newer lows and newer support levels. That's why at 115.20, even though there's a small window here, I highly encourage every investor to pay very close attention to the behavior of this stock and what is going on. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe, share this with your friends and community, and don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watch this video and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell 
so that you don't miss a single video that I post. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. Well, at the end of this video, that pop-up video, I actually go into deeper detail about the S&P 500 index. And I just want to break it down a little bit to you guys and see what it is that I want you guys to watch. I know I've been saying it in my last couple of videos. Check out the video and you're like, well, what does that do for me? I'm just looking for the ticker symbol. I want to see the analysis and so forth. Well, this right here is great news for us as investors right now, present day. I know that the Federal Reserve pumps have an effect. A lot of analysis say that and experts in the future. But right now in the present, how can you continue to maximize profits? Well, it's been awesome to see the S&P 500 rise the way it has in such a great recovery due to the fact of these pumps. I'm not sure if that trickle effect is already starting to show that these pumps have had an effect where it can actually start going in the other direction or if this is just due to the fact of the time of the year, people taking profits, the uncertainty that's coming up or fear or so forth, right? So that is something that I am already seeing how quickly this has actually fallen. But you can see as it's been falling down that these pumps still have an effect on the market by bringing it up several points. And we're going to go into that in just a moment into detail. But this has been rising up and it was a, a great run. It hit highs. And from this point forward, it actually started to fall and it became more turbulent. The volatility has always been there. But these pumps were actually supporting the market on rising up. But we're going to look at the pumps now because this is the state that we're in. We're not in that bullish run anymore. So I'm going to pull this up. These are some of the most recent pumps. This was released right back on the 14th of September. And the next release date is October 14th. So the first one was on the 15th. And I want, we're going to look at that in just a second. The second one was on the 22nd. The third one was on the 29th. And the most recent and upcoming one to be the recent one is 10 6 october 6 so we're gonna look at those dates so the 15th this was september 14th it slightly dipped and it ended off around 3383 and the next day was the 15th and it rose up to 3418 that right there is a rise of several points for the s p 500 index and Again, 21st rising up and we land on the 22nd. So the day pretty much ended and started here at 3261 and the end of the run, because then comes the 23rd, the end of the run on the 22nd, which was the date of the next pump, it reached up to 3321. So again, rose up several points. Now the anticipation here for the next pump and the week that was coming, the end of the week started really strong started the week strong on Monday and it started to dip on that Tuesday of the date of the pump. Well, guess what? The pump actually saved it from hitting newer lows and actually created momentum to continue to rise up because it hit 32.28 and before the day ended, it rose up to 33.49. This is actually one of the pumps that I've seen the pump do the least effect in rising it by several points, but I have seen the pump do this before, stop it from going in this direction and rising it back up, creating an attractiveness to the market to bring in obviously more investors and obviously do this effect to bring it up. And then obviously the volatility of the market is normal to be seen like that. So we're anticipating the next one. But what I want to talk about is what does it mean for us as investors that these points of the index are rising up? Well, if the index of the s p 500 is rising up several points that means that it is rising up and there's 500 ticker symbols within it some of them not all of them are rising up with it so individual ticker symbols are rising anywhere from 30 cents to up to three dollars maybe even more but i have seen ticker symbols rise on the dates of these rises and these points rising on the index individual ticker symbols rise 30 cents three dollars per share i know that that doesn't sound like a lot it sounds like oh well it's 30 cents oh it's three dollars i know i know it sounds small but per share 
It does add up. And I'm not saying that it guarantees you profits, but profits are profits. And I always say that in all of my videos, especially when I'm talking about this. And this is an opportunity to maximize profits and minimize your losses. I'm just encouraging you guys to check out the video. I go into more detail about it. I just want you guys to see with your own eyes the dates of the pumps and what it has done. And if we go back to previously reaching these highs and dipping, this pump of the scheduled dates was rising us up in an upward direction. I mean, here are some notes. And I also had notes here, but I deleted it because I didn't want those notes to go ahead and confuse people in the upcoming pump dates of over here. But something that I find interesting is, yes, on the dates of these pumps, the market was rising up to newer highs, reaching newer levels and going up to the point that it hit these highs. But on the way down, on the dates that the market is rising several points, I mean, you do see it several times before, okay? That's good. But on the dates of the pumps, it's actually rising. It's actually rising. It's actually leveling off, rising, creating momentum to go to the next level. And it actually rose due to the fact of the anticipation of people knowing that there was probably an upcoming pump. So many investors know about this. A lot of people aren't speaking about it or they're unaware of it. So I'm here to share with you guys that there's an opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. Click on the video, check it out. I go into more detail about it. I hope you find it helpful and informative. And thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.